I think I gotta go to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I know where I'm fucking going. They don't mark it on the map, but I gotta go to Windfall Island. I skipped all the guys' dialogue because I don't care. Welcome back to skipping dialogue. Perhaps I can get one more island on the way there. So yeah, at this point in the game, like this is like this is where where it would be really cool is if like you know, if this game were not like a cartoony sort of thing, like you could have all these big waves crashing around and shit. Yeah. And then you're like trying to just survive on the waves and stuff. Like that would be kind of neat. Kind of add some peril and challenge to just traveling, but whatever. I mean, that reminds me of the because we were just watching that art compilation. There's a fucking compilation for Sea of Thieves ones. Yeah. Like, where people get scared. Mm. Fucking... I could see it, like... So, there's, there's storms. Because like, there's, like, Krakens and shit in that, too. Yes. There? Yeah. Krakens, there's Megalodons. That's sweet. Skeleton ships. That's awesome. Fucking... Uh, there's mermaids now that will attack you. There's sharks. That's sweet. Um, I like that kind of shit. Yeah, there's, I think that's fun. There's now, like crab people also like see this right here for example like you know as it is you know it can be a little bit like you know oh like it's kind of cool to see that there's all these like tornadoes like floating around yeah but it's very gamey yeah and it doesn't feel real yeah and it's like so easy to dodge them oh yeah like they don't really pose a threat at yeah, all they're just funnels yeah they're just there you know I'm not compl like you know this game's 20 years old like it's not a big deal yeah but I'm just saying like I, I just Sometimes when you see games and you kind of compare it to other things, you're kind of like, if you could, could like combine those elements together to make something kind of, you know, that takes the best of those two separate things, you know? Because Sea of Thieves, for me, like, I've seen gameplay. I haven't seen much, mind you, but I've seen yeah. enough to know that, like, the game looks freaking great. And it looks like a really cool game, but I know that I don't think I would enjoy it very much simply because of the fact that it's more of a multiplayer focused game though if I got it on PC I wouldn't have to pay to play online so that's kind of cool too though huh but either way you know yeah like here here there's the Megalodon oh jeez or there's the Megalodon that's a big bully yeah that's the one in Sea of Thieves yes yeah, this guy has uh, one of the videos that I saw was so there's storms in the game uh -huh. and they can happen day or night mm -hmm. and you can see them way ahead before you even go into them normally so I like that shit that's cool I wish they did that in Death Stranding yeah you can start sailing into it and it won't be that bad like there'll be some light rain and there will be some wind, and it'll be a little harder. Excuse you. What the fuck just happened? Yeah. <laughs> it'll be a little harder to, like, row the boat. Right, right. So, if you... The one thing that I've seen is that... So, you get closer and closer to the middle of the storm. The waves get much bigger, much higher. Right. It's constantly lightning. Uh, the rain is torrential the wind is so hard so you have to constantly fight your steering <laughs> so you don't actually, fucking actually. just spin in circles or do right. hit a rock or something like that yeah i'll tell you two one that i've had seen and one that i've experienced myself the one that i've seen is basically this person's on a little the little boat and it's pitch black, there's lightning and all that kind of stuff, and the waves are super high, and they're trying to go through, and you, when the rain is getting on your boat and all that, it starts to fill your boat, so you have to yeah. bail it constantly. They go down, they bail, and then, like, they get back up into their nest, they hold the thing, and they start turning to the left, and then the lightning cracks, and there's another ship coming directly... <laughs> Like, because he's on the lower wave, uh, and then there's a wave coming up, 
Uh-huh. And that ship is on top of that wave. Oh, jeez. So the lightning cracks. He sees the ship. And he's like, oh, shit. And, yeah. and he gets fucking whammed. Just destroyed. <laughs> yeah, by this huge galleon ship. That's awesome. So the biggest versus the smallest. And fucking wrecks him in the middle of the storm. <laughs> so now he's got holes everywhere. The storm is not letting up. There's water fucking filling up his thing. <laughs> and the other ship... Just fucking start shooting him too, <laughs> just to add insult to injury. And like it's like fuck, man. In fact, I may maybe I should add that to my uh, wish list on Steam and pick it up. Do you guys do you still play it much or no? Yeah, every once in a while. Yeah, whenever I, never, I can get people to play it with me. Normally, I've, I've never played it. Maybe that's a game that because obviously that's a game you're gonna want to play with friends. I don't know. It's, but that's that's the type of shit that I want to do in like a single player game, you know? Yeah. Or like or like we said, whenever we played Uncharted Four, we we're like, I want a dinosaur game, but let that looks like this. Yes. <laughs> like, that'd be fucking cool. Now, the one that happened to me was I had just finished up one of the Tall Tales, which is a story mission. God, why? Yeah. And so, spoilers, it's basically, I was down at the bottom of the sea. Mm -hmm. And I had to swim all the way up, and I'm about to drown and all that. I have this chest that I'm holding, so I let go of the chest. The chest flows up to the top, and I just barely get up right before drowning. Like, fuck, okay. It is, um, it is bright out. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. And I get in my ship, and I start going. Nobody's on my ship or anything like that. It's just me. I put this chest down, and this chest uh, cries. So every time it cries, it fills up the water in the ship. So you have to bail it out, and you have to keep going. So I'm going straight, and I'm like, all right, I need to just, I need to get off. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh Uh-huh. So I'm going straight towards the nearest port. I look at my map, Uh and I head, and I start going. And as I'm going... It's just super foggy. You can't see shit in front of you. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm doing that, and I'm like, all right. And I start hearing music. I'm like, what the fuck is that music? (laughs) And then as I'm going straight, I see, and it's a skeleton ship. Oh, jeez. Skeleton fucking uh, galleon filled with skeletons just fucking start shooting into me on the side I'm like motherfucker and then I hear a roar and I'm like oh what the fuck now and then the megalodon shows up so that megalodon is circling us as I'm fighting off this fucking skeleton ship I I killed the crew but they respawn if I don't get away fast enough so I'm just trying to fucking book it out of here I'm patching holes and then I fucking run aground on a rock because I couldn't see it there's yeah. so much fucking fog. I can only see maybe like 10, 15 feet in front of my ship. So I run into a rock. I have to pull it out of there. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I turn it out. The Megalodon is still circling me this whole time. I fix up my ship. I'm getting out. The fog finally clears. As I do, I've, as I do that, I turn around. And then there's the fucking Megalodon about to bite my ship. <laughs> it fucking bites the side of my ship. I get all full of new holes. I have to shoot it, uh, shoot it in the face a bunch of times to make it leave me alone. That's awesome, dude. And then, exactly what fucking Guns of Icarus should have been. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, <clears throat> I finally get away from it. I'm like, okay, this can't get any fucking worse. Of course. Right as I say that, a fucking storm rolls in. Uh-huh. So now I have to get to get to my place. I have to go through this huge storm. And there's a whole bunch of rocks everywhere throughout. And mm-hmm. it's getting dark. So I have to traverse this thunderstorm in the dark to get to my fucking place. I finally, I get through it all. I have to fight another skeleton ship on the way. But they left me alone pretty quickly. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah, right. And then, uh... Yeah, I finally, I finally get to my place and I sell my chest. And I'm like, this, this is the worst fucking way back. <laughs> yeah. Was it worth it in the end? I only got like 
Nine hundred gold. Is that not a lot? No, <laughs> no, it's not at all. Oh well. Like it's a good, good amount for like, a ch just a single chest, but like, it's not much. I finally get to the end. I fucking quit. The only thing that could have been worse is if the fucking Kraken showed up too. Yeah, right. But luckily, I didn't have that problem. <laughs> It's a, yeah, that sounds like a game I'd like to try, but it's like, again, you kind of have to have like a group to play with, I feel. Unless yeah, it, it's uh, it's definitely more fun with friends, but it yeah. is fun to solo sloop at the same time, too. Yeah. If you just like to chill. Well, just because it's one of those things where it's like you gotta have, like, a group of people just to, like, maneuver the ship and whatnot, you know? We're back to this shit, Billy. <coughs> How about I just leave you in there? Oh, thanks for letting me out. Why don't I just leave? I didn't. I, that'd be no, that's what I'm saying. I should just leave him in there. <laughs> yeah, just wait, wait, please. This one might be easier than the last one, though. I don't really know. I had an, an unnecessarily hard time on that last one. <laughs> yeah, I remember. It's because you weren't seeing speed run. Why are the fucking lanterns moving like that? That makes no sense. It's because you're in a boat. Yeah, but they're like moving like... You see how far they're moving on the ceiling? Yeah. Yeah, the ropes are moving. Alright, I'm going to try and get that one. There we go. By the skin of my gooch. Good skin! Assemble! <laughs> Assemble. But yeah, Sea Thieves is a lot of fun. They actually came out with some really good... They're called Tall Tales. They're story beats. Uh, where more specific, like, not, not random things will happen. <clears throat> That's good. Random is good, but also scripted stuff is good. Yeah, it's a good... You gotta have a good mix. Now you got this. Yeah. First try, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it fucking port polish. Just, it just crushed. I like how he just walks out like he's fucking betrayed. Like, why no one's ever been able to do that? No one's no ever been able to do that. Why no one's ever been able to my fucking challenge? I'm just fucking bullshit. But yeah, it's a really good game. Um, they did really phenomenal with the uh, the tall tale that they did with Disney to uh, backwards Disney. Uh, it was a uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. That themed. sounds that sounds fucking cool. Yeah, I just we just watched uh, Curse of the Black Pearl the other day, Melissa and I, and I kind of want to revisit that series of films because I feel like I was too young to really appreciate it appreciate the sequels because they just the sequels got really bloated but oh yeah two yeah. is a good sequel it's not it, bad it's still like bloated though yes <laughs> like the third wasn't that great from what i remember and then i didn't watch any more well because i they, think there was four and then five or maybe just four well there was curse of the black pearl dead man's chest at world's end and then I think the other one was called, like, Stranger Shores. Yeah. And then there was Dead Men Tell No Tales, and I feel like there's one other one. Okay, so there might be six. I think there's six. Yeah, because they signed him on for... They signed Johnny Depp for three more movies after the third one was done. Okay. I just forgot the name of the other one. Oh, it's... Somebody's, like... It's a name... It's like Salazar's bleh or something, oh, okay. something so, like that. Salazar's to live there. So yeah, there's six of them, and okay. I think there's like two of them I haven't, I've never seen. So I, I kind of want to revisit those ones just to kind of like <coughs> see if I like them, <laughs> like yeah. see if they're good. I watched the very, I think I watched the very last one, and I didn't really care for it. It was very, it was very. Uh, like, they were just phoning it in at that yeah. point, you know. The one that I remember 
I think it was the one with Blackbeard in it. I think that was the third one. Maybe. I don't remember. Or maybe but they had the fourth this, one. They had this weird tradition, though, where, like, after... I, th I think the third one... I'm pretty sure it was the third one. Maybe not. Maybe it was the second one. I don't remember. Dang. But th they had this tradition where they were getting fucking rock musicians to be pirates. Because Keith Richards was in one of them, and then fucking Paul McCartney was in that the last one that I watched. Um, like, oh, they yeah, just this is fun. and they just no, they just did it just to shoehorn him in there. Like he's only in it for like a minute. He's he's yeah. a random ass pirate. Well, he's not a random ass pirate. He's Jack Sparrow's uncle or something, and he's just in prison. And then like they're carrying like Jack Sparrow through the prison to take him to prison. And then he's like, oh, Uncle, bleh, like you know. And that was it. It's just so fucking random. It's like, okay. God damn it, I gotta go to fucking Outset Island. Ugh. Alright. Good thing I bought a bunch of bait. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was wanting to kind of check those out again because I haven't, like, watched all of them. <laughs> yeah. And I just feel like maybe there's, like, something worth experiencing, but I think that's something I'm going to do in my own time. I'm not going to force Melissa to watch them all. Yeah. I, I, I forced her to watch Twilight with me. And that was <laughs> I won't I won't watch that. That's not I, I had a good time. <laughs> I, I won't watch it because I'm just not that much into vampires and werewolf stuff. Oh, I'm not either. Unless you think like I fucking dark. am? You think I fucking am? Well, no, they're then just why'd you watch it? Because they're terrible movies. Oh, okay. And so I it's, wanted, um, it's a bad, like, it's you like watching bad movies. Okay, like, so bad. on the negative 10 to the positive 10 scale, where would it be? Obviously, Zero is the worst movie that you could do. Uh, they're, they're very light on the negative end of the scale, I would say. So, like, negative twos, negative threes? Yeah, that's probably where I'd put them. Yeah, that's that's how I do my my movies now. Negative ten means it was so bad that it was great. Yeah, it's like The Room or Fateful Findings or something. Yeah, and then obviously ten is it was a great movie. Yeah, and then but, zero but is it was so it was unremarkable shitty. that I it, it there varies, was nothing good about it. It varies between which Twilight film it is, but generally speaking, I'm going to put them all at around a negative one, negative two-ish era area. Okay. Some so of them are somewhat bad. Some of them are kind of entertaining because of how bad they are, but you know, if you're if you're you're going to watch it just to riff on it is yeah. really the is really the thing. Like you're not watching it because you think it's actually going to be genuinely entertaining. But okay, like, so I as had, long as you you actually liked it in that terms, that's fine then. Like, I I like I'm not saying I would ever watch them again, because I wouldn't. <laughs> like, they are definitely not worth watching a second time. Yeah. Um, but I had fun with it because they were stupid. They were really fucking stupid. And uh, <laughs> like, oh man, they were bad. And it's and it's funny to me because like you know there's obviously like a like a, a group of people or like a generation of people who like really unironically loved that shit when it was coming out. Oh god, I remember. Yeah, like T Team Edward or Team Jason Taylor. Which one? Uh, team is Jacob, firstly. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> see, see how, that's how much I care. <laughs> but team, I was Team Jacob the whole way until he became a pedophile at the end of the fucking series. <laughs> that's what happens. He basically becomes a pedophile by the end of the movies. Damn. It's, it's, it's what know. happens when you take your shirt off all the time. <laughs> I told you about it. I know you probably don't remember, yeah. but like he. So, like, you know, because he's a fucking werewolf or whatever. So, Edward's just a fucking, like, he's an asshole. Like, he's, he's also he's, a pedophile, technically, ba based off of uh, age difference. Oh, yeah, at the, at the time? Yeah, probably, yeah. right, yeah. But, like, um, Edward's just a fucking asshole the whole time. He Like, I don't understand why Kristen, Kristen Stewart, like, her character likes him at all. Like, he's kind of a distant prick. Like, he sucks. And Jacob is like actually somebody who seems to like you know he's probably, he's probably just saying it because he's a boy but mm -hmm. like he seems to actually like care about like her as a person. Mm -hmm. um, but then of course she's like, no, I want to be with Edward. Edward is the one that I love for no reason. 
No, at least because he's white. <laughs> <laughs> Just gets <laughs> real fucking racist. <laughs> Just like, but, damn, all right, but then like first. but then like okay so like later on in the movies though like there's this thing called imprinting like within like the uh the werewolves so like they don't control it it's just a thing that happens with them where they imprint themselves on somebody or I, maybe it's the other way around. Like, maybe, like, the person gets imprinted on them. I don't know. Either way, what imprinting essentially means is that they just unconditionally care for a person or something like that, you know? And at one point later on in the films, uh, Kristen Stewart's character gets pregnant. And then, um, I don't know, there's probably some stupid drama that comes about because, like, he gets imprinted on, on Kristen Stewart. But then later on in the movies, you realize he actually got imprinted on the baby. And it's like, okay, <laughs> that's fucking weird. <laughs> um, and the baby is CG for half the movies, too. I, I think I told you that. The be like, the baby is CG. And then when, like, for some reason, the child grows up very, very quickly. I don't remember why. It's just because it's got blood in it. That's oh, because it's like a half breed. Like yeah. it's like a half human, half vampire. It should be so, a half human, half vampire, half wolf. <laughs> uh, sorry, werewolf. Well, that'd be a third of each thing. But whatever. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I mean, the you point could be a human that is half vampire, half wolf, couldn't you? I suppose. So I mean, we're just negating the human part because okay. the human is the base. So the human is the base vampire thing. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a werewolf vampire. Like, it can't go out in the sun. But and only but during I'm just the saying, moon. The fucking baby CG, and then it grows up into being like you know, like a twelve-year-old kid. And half of the twelve-year-old kid is CG too, and I don't get it. <laughs> it probably had to do with like something about like you know, children are only allowed on set so many hours out of the day or something. Is what I'm assuming is the case. Yeah. But like. That's still really bad. It looks terrible. Yeah, oh, I mean, why don't you just, you know, pay the kid more? There's there's a good CGing. There's a good scene in one of them where they play baseball. You can probably find it on on YouTube or something. It's pretty great actually. Well, cuz they're vampires. Yeah. So they're spread out like I don't know. 500 feet away from each other. Like the oh, fucking whip in this Yeah. Ball. So it's like and it turns into like Dragon Ball Z where like he hits it and then it's flying like 100 miles an hour away. And then the dude's running with it and shit like that. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of thing. And I'm like, what purpose does this serve in the grand scheme of this romance movie? <laughs> they just wanted to be like, yeah, this is what it would be like if vampires were playing baseball. This They'd have to make all baseball fields really big. <laughs> yeah. And then, but at the same time, then they're trying to like lay low because they're fucking vampires. They live in this fucking like huge estate out in the middle of nowhere. But then you're out in this field like running at like breakneck fucking, speeds, just fucking, playing baseball yeah. with like sonic booms coming off your fucking bat. Like what are you like? What are you doing? It's like come on, guys. Yeah, but that <laughs> that's what makes it funny. Is like. People thought that was written well. People thought that was a fucking good story. Some people thought Like, it. people thought Stephanie Meyer was a fucking genius for writing this shit. And it's, like, terrible. That's why, like, Fifty Shades of Grey, like, to me, like, I remember that was another one that we watched. And that one's just bad. That's just a bad movie. It's It, it sucks. But it's just, like, you know... You know that that series or like that thing, it's fucking Twilight fanfic. That's what yeah. Fifty Shades of Grey was. Yeah. Which is fucking weird. Do you think she gives really good hand jobs? You know, I'm disappointed that she doesn't give foot jobs. <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of hard with the twirl well, jobs. Well, actually, <laughs> actually, you could probably do a pretty good twirl job. Yeah. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> well, it's worth the. You know, they drape the thing oh! around your penis and then just... Yeah. It's like a... It's like a Chinese and finger it's trap. Spinning, and it's spinning at the same time. Yeah, but it's like a Chinese finger trap. Or yeah. whatever. It's like a really good feeling blender. Oh. Wow. You're just going to let that slide? Really good feeling blender? 
But you're saying it's good feeling, so... Yeah, uh, I know, but, like, I would have expected, like, something like, ah, I don't know about good feeling blender. Well, I'm just saying, like, if a... Like, you're making it appear that it, you know... It's, it would it's, be a it's good not, thing. It's a non-torturous blender. It's a good one. That's why I'm, you know, yeah, okay. It's a blender that feels good. At that point, I just think it's somebody doing this to, like, your balls. Like, you know, it's just, they're just <laughs> doing this little, like, yeah, little yeah. cradle jiggle type <laughs> motion they got going on. I assume it would feel, like, fleshy, but also silky at the same time. Yeah. Because, obviously, you wouldn't want just silk because, like, too much friction and it hurts. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I like the world. I like the world. I have so much pain on my penis. <laughs> what? I, I, so I Why like was the that pain. just all R's? Because <laughs> <Just, laughs> I was doing like a Buffalo Bill. I was doing a Buffalo Bill fucking. Oh. <laughs> would you fuck me? I would fuck me. Would you fuck me if you wouldn't fuck me? Would you fuck me if I was actually a female? Why does he say that? Like that makes me think of for some reason that, that voice modulator that Dennis Reynolds uses in that one episode on the Dennis system. And then he calls her up and he's like, You're gonna die, bitch! You're gonna die, bitch! <laughs> and he's just laughing. Yeah, it was like that. If you can find the clip, put the clip in there. <laughs> We watched uh, a movie called The Strangers the other day, Melissa and I. Oh, I've seen that. Um, and I was, <laughs> we were watching it, and fucking Glenn Howerton's in it. Yeah. Like, and I, I, like, I remember he pulls up in his car, and I'm like, is that fucking Glenn Howerton? And I'm like, yeah, it is. And it's like, I hope you got paid well for that, because you're only in the movie for, like, three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he probably did, yeah. Did he have any voice lines? Oh, yeah. yeah okay, so, yeah. No, he had some he voice lines, well. but like... Every time, why do you jump in? Cause are I, you trying to grab the fish? No, because I keep mashing the fucking <laughs> A button to get out. I'd like to get through the dialogue. Yeah, Glenn Howard was in that movie for like three minutes. I don't I don't know how I felt about that movie, because it's just kind of a mindless, like, break-in movie. Like, just people break into the house and are like fucking with people. Like, there's no yeah. real reason or rhyme to it. Why? Why did you do it? Because you were here. Yeah, that's it. You answered the door. That's how I would murder people. Yeah. So if you just see guess, random people dying, I don't know. I guess it's probably not me though. I guess that's kind of the thing, like about it, is like you know, just, why does any act of violence happen? Is like just because. Well, most of the time it's because the person knows the right. person. But I'm so just saying, like the, the hardest the, ones to figure out are the ones that just that happen are, randomly. That I that do happen randomly. Yeah. No, yeah. I know. I guess that's the point of the film. But like, I don't know. I, I feel like the I don't know. Most of it just kind of felt like the killers weren't really trying to kill them like that good. <laughs> yeah, they weren't trying that hard. No, like, they, they were weren't. just kind of being like They're, lazy. Yeah, they were kind of just fucking with them the whole time. It's like, hey guys, <sighs> Stinky Pete here to murder you. Gale. All right, I'm gonna get the axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like you know, she goes out into the shed where the fucking like you know, the radio is, and then one of the people's in there, and then they just hit the radio and just let her limp away with her broken ankle. Yeah, like you could have killed her or yeah, grabbed her you know, or something. They want to inflict the, the most didn't. amount of mental anguish as well as physical. I guess. Not everything's just like I don't know. Just get felt, the job done, Taylor. It was just hokey. Sometimes you gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta love what you do. do really you relish love, in it. Love what you do. Don't jump out, don't jump out. Okay. I think this is... That's not a speed say, running Gale straight Isle? to jump out. Oh, this headstone aisle. Okay, I got nothing to do here yet. I can... There's probably some shit that I can get with a Hyoi pair, but I ain't gonna do it right now. I'll do it later. But yeah, do you, do you do everything, like, by the book, Taylor? Or do you fucking have fun once in a while? I don't know. But it depends on what we're talking about, I guess. Like, when you work and all that. Do you, do you talk to your, your co-workers and have fun? Or do you just make I, the pizza? I talk to Drew because lately there's been a trend where the young kids are coming in and they got a fucking Bluetooth 
speaker uh, had like a earphone in their fucking oh, ear. Okay, all day. so they're not listening. Yeah, so it's me and Drew talking, and then they're just listening to fucking whatever. So I'm like, I let them no do one their thing. Me. No that's what understands <laughs> me. No, that's what happened last time. Like me and Drew were working, and like they got like their their uh, the other iPods, like and... headphones on or whatever. And I'm just like, you know, me and Drew were talking about shit. So it's like, all right, that's fine. Yeah, I don't so, want to talk to these losers anyway. So, yeah, you like, you know, spending time having fun at work. Uh, just like those killers. Just want to fucking go have fun and kill somebody? Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay. They're not just there to murder people. They're there um, to cause... Cause a ruckus. Yeah, cause a ruckus. <laughs> have some fun. You gotta let loose, man. All right. Well, next time on Chinstep Chaps, I let loose. <laughs> we let loose on some people next door. Yeah. <laughs>